A very good morning to traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. Asia is up this morning and uh, it ends a week with 2% gains uh, in relation to last Friday. That is very encouraging. Uh, the uh, sentiment in Asia has been helped by then manufacturing data from both China and the United States, which point in the direction of a better global growth for next year. Uh, the American market was closed yesterday due to Thanksgiving, and so was Japan. Uh, the other winner this week, in, re, in, uh, in addition to the Asian market, is the Euro, which is up 1% since last Friday, and trading at 128.88 against the US dollar. The uh, Euro is also gaining a little bit uh, towards Japanese yen, which is continuing uh, the downward trend trading at uh, 82.35 uh, against the US dollar. Uh, with regards to the euro, there are a lot of dark uh, skies on the horizon. Uh, the uh, heads of the European Union were not able to reach an agreement on the budget for the next years. Uh, it's uh, especially then countries like Great Britain, Poland and Denmark that have very strong objections to the uh, proposal presented by the European Commission. Also, uh, this week uh, the euro has been helped a little bit by then statements from, among others, Angela Merkel saying that it would uh, be possible to reach a compromise on the Greek debt uh, on uh, when the Minister of Finance meets uh, next Monday. That is still an open question and uh, the debt crisis in Europe is back on the agenda uh, rather than the financial cliff. Regarding other currencies, it's worthwhile noticing that the Scandinavian currencies are up a little bit towards both the euro and the US dollar. Uh, oil prices are flat around 110 and also commodity prices are at the same level. Gold and silver are also steady and they are ending the week on a little better footing than it was on last Friday. I wish all of you traders a very good weekend and also a good trading day from United World Capital.